So the Flutter support for Adobe XD was just announced and uh, I was really excited to see how this goes. Really excited to know what it uh, holds for us in the future and uh, just today when I saw this uh, post in the morning I went to our designer Ronak uh, do check out his Behance. It's, he's an amazing designer from like by all metrics. So back to the topic, uh, we wanted to check this out because if uh, it, um, you know, lives up to the promise, uh, it could like uh, drastically increase uh, the efficiency with which we work on our apps. Now that said, uh, let's try things out, you know, and just to try things out, like I have this, uh, Within a day, Ronak tried to like work a screen out uh, for us to build in Flutter. Now, uh, I myself am not a very, uh, yeah, the noise in the background, it's not noise, it's like my little sister featuring in this video. And I expect to see more of her. Um, cool, let's, uh, you know, uh, and I did download the uh, thing. I have XT, the latest version, and uh, I'm signed into my hacks account because <coughs> I don't personally use Windows. All of my programming setup, all of my Flutter setup, everything works on Linux. I just don't like the processes running in the background and stuff. I if it means that I'll have to use Windows and uh, it's it's a deal breaker for me. So personally, Adobe XD team, please support Linux as soon as you can. Now, nitpicking on the Adobe XD team is uh, easy, but they're not building uh, an easy product. This is hard. Building this must have been hard. I. I think I should mess with some of the settings. Display settings, I think I'm scaling this a bit too far. Uh, yeah, I should be at 100%. And this should give me ample room to work with. Uh, so, this is also a feedback to XT team if they take it. Um, scale windows don't work really well. Um, shared with you I think this is where the uh, this is also me using XD after a very 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 long time uh, this is a screen that he made I let's see what he made for us to try out and then we shall while it loads we should go through the article and some amazing stuff like he mentions Tim, an amazing guy, mentions Rob, Robert Felker, who, like, he's an amazing, like, all of this work belongs to him, and I've been following him for quite some time, he is, hmm, an amazing uh, digital artist, the things that he's done with Flutter, I cannot imagine myself uh, being able to, you know, visualize this and then visualize the code as well, so very good job now this announcement is it's it's still early access it's not even beta so like it's it's very early stages of development so uh, we can't nitpick much anything that i say negatively about this product would be constructive feedback because i know that uh, all of the people who make these products they want the people who are using them to provide them with good feedback so that they can build a better experience for us especially with the flutter team exporting flutter code from xd this is the cool stuff um, using flutter plugin in xd is straightforward you can either export an individual drawing or component or an artboard here's how so first flutter exporter plugin
just press this and see what happens oh let's press install plugin install now hmm okay so the work of this page is over uh, choose plugins discover plugins and search for flutter once you install it you can display the ui panel shown in the screenshot above by choosing plugin flutter ui panel so it could have been somewhere here uh, plugins flutter ui panel so we have a flutter ui panel over here and uh, it's a flutter project but i uh, don't have one so let's just make one on the desktop maybe create new folder uh, flutter project mm, select folder or something pub spec yaml yeah i'll just continue and let's see what happens from here Now, this uh, artboard should be pretty straightforward on a text and image and uh, another text, a simple column uh, with uh, a few spacers maybe uh, if you think responsibly because uh, if you get this ratio, this ratio and this ratio correct, I think the product will end up visually pleasing and i think the space from here to here should be uh, at max uh, you know this this should be a fixed uh, length and this and this and this should be ideally um, using spacers or flex uh, so that you know it looks good on all screen sizes and with phones changing ratios from 16 inch to 9 to you know greater than 2 is to 1 so that would be where it's going so first see if we can export this uh, so in the plugin in the section it's a text uh, flutter font is product sans uh, text parameter and color parameter so export all widgets support so I'm supposed to X copy selected and I'll, I'll just uh, fire up VS code uh, did I install it or not I forgot to install VS Code before the video. No issues up there. I'll just install it quickly. Don't care about much. I won't be programming in Windows anyway. <coughs> so press control I'm able to see uh, what this line is uh, okay this is is it a manual guide of sorts could be uh, this uh, it would be bottom navigation bar that uh, this fluid list sent in so that's something we'd like to See how it behaves and stuff. I'll launch Visual Studio Code and don't have Flutter installed, so we won't use Flutter immediately. But we'll see how it uh, 
close this right now so go to desktop and use this photo project select folder and let's see what happens from there uh, export all widgets and what it does is it uh, generates a bunch of code component 11 Install that extension for code highlighting. Okay. Um, feedback number one. Um, file names. So, XD team uh, could uh, you know enforce the file name conventions over here. It's it's a tough decision. Art designers could be trained to name them in snake case but then again you will need camel case over here and snake case over here so i guess camel case wins and snake case could be enforced by the xd team in their code generators now let's uh, see uh, we have material and svg and most of the custom designs and all are made through svg uh, SVG dot stream and this is ship SVG hash or something like that. Allow drawing outside blue box. Okay, so this is the SVG code and um, okay, so this won't uh, clip the SVG by any means. Okay, now uh, exams so dot. It's uh, like quite a long file. It could have like a folder like exams or that, and uh, some uh, like you know the code broken into pieces and all. Home is same thing. Homework is uh, same thing. So what what it's doing is instead of giving us a bottom navigation bar. Is giving us the render tree for all the steps and all so uh, the uh, XD plugin wouldn't uh, generate the code for you uh, the state management code for you it will just give you some of the render bits and uh, this also with all the hard coded widths and heights and everything so I also don't see any render flex happening over here mm, uh, much uh, for code review would uh, say that we actually don't have any render flex. Let's see if we have any columns. Uh, so we don't have any columns. Um, do we have any rows? We don't. Uh, do we have any flex? No, we don't have a divider. So that is what the team said when it meant uh, that uh, this thing still lacks uh, some responsive capabilities and that is why I am skeptical of uh, layout based code, code generators in general. Uh, it's because you can end up with uh, a replica of this but what about different screen ratios and mobile is not e as easy as it used to be anymore because earlier it was that you support one ratio and that's it but with make enough UI and you'll know that you have to like work around a lot of screen size ratio problems and those notches and curved edges and whatnot hmm. but uh, this still uh, serves a purpose because like uh, this button and SVG and everything uh, once again interaction elements so do we have buttons uh, okay so let's see So the only places where like the word button is mentioned is notes from yeah. 
art designer or not from the next export tool I don't know if it's you know our designer not marking things as interactable or something like that because uh, we still need to prototype right okay so we do have some prototyping done for us so suppose if we click this link on this page so I, I'd like to see how that interaction is handled um, so it, it's a profile page so I'll go to the profile page code and uh, I it's hard to find the home button as well like if you want to find in this file uh, home button or something like that f x number of home uh, page builder homework okay and homework button homework button and hmm. so we don't have any interactive elements we don't have any responsiveness and we don't have very nice code organization like we're supposed to break the components and reuse them you know hmm. but that said like the very fact that this UI is being converted into code that looks exactly the same is pretty pretty impressive so what can this be used as like if uh, we see a few other features um, for more um, Adobe yeah, early access erase notes JavaScript based API and stuff mm, hot reload on save watcher setting I, I I am like really interested in uh, how does the auto animation export take place I'll, we could do an in-depth on this uh, we'll soon hopefully um, add Adobe XD package to a Flutter project this package provides helper functions to minimize boilerplate in the generated XD code to export a single element uh, next and choose copy selected button from the UI panel so let's see how copy selected works so I could simply like, turn off prototype mode and I like, have selected this much and it could be you know okay right click and mm, filter to XC plugin and to your panel support uh, selection and export all images export all widgets um, the access the app select a single object to modify settings I could copy selected and see what happens over here I'll just hmm. this is supposed to dart to document so this is page link links child okay uh, what does a page link do? I so does Adobe also add some you know uh, new widgets to their package? I think not because let's see. Uh, after page link. Okay, that's dynamic links and stuff. Mm. API 
uh, most probably that's a UI name given to this piece by okay so conclusion would we be using it um, right now in our workflow I don't see us using Adobe XD very often uh, one of the main reasons is that we don't use uh, Adobe XD very often most of the time we just use the web based Figma where it wins like with Adobe XD we get a lot of features you know we get um, real time collaboration features we get unlimited projects we get like Adobe XD has a really generous free tier and uh, with these flutter plugins and the commitment and the uh, collaboration happening between the two teams is just awesome uh, at the same time there are a few quirks to it uh, designer has like fallen in love with Figma and he finds it really hard to um, you know go back from Figma to XD because like Figma just offers him a lot of the tools that he needs to work and I guess he's just used to it. As far as this Flutter plugin goes, uh, I think uh, for SVG exports and stuff, uh, for making the decisions, uh, for like replicating one to one and then uh, making adjustments on your own, if uh, the code separation was uh, much better, uh, we could have done that. Uh, like if uh, you know. Uh, there were some cues within the XD tool itself like if I could uh, you know like for example this is no homework too right and this would have been changed into a text widget so if I copy select it and uh, uh, for example uh, save this so it, it, it's a text widget and everything is very well done like the text style is uh, copied very immediately uh, what I would actually benefit from much more would be uh, maybe like we have a set of reference text styles put over here for us and we would like take one, two, three, four, five, uh, six, seven different text styles that's used throughout the app and we would just like copy select it and within copy select it, there would have been a feature copy style and we would have just uh, you know uh, uh, we would get the text style and that way we could like uh, easily create a custom theme that we could pass on to the material app and get all those text styles uh, available to us within the app instead of replicating it everywhere like for every text widget I think uh, there is this uh, custom text style uh, which is like uh, not in the best practices of Flutter like we could uh, we should be able to you know inherit it from theme dot of context now for again like uh, dynamic text is uh, another thing because uh, this is just like uh, you know generating code for the render tree but then again just like we have uh, source in annotations we could have some custom field supports for example text parameter uh, we could have uh, like uh, we could give it uh, hello no, screen title and color parameter text color and then I like, copy selected and let's see the generated code from it I'll uh, delete this page link and textile stuff because you know and just paste it here so uh, once again the uh, parameters are like not really uh, anything to go by or uh, maybe I forgot to press an enter or something copy select it again and then uh, again so 
not really finding anything else. Like this should have been replaced by a getter. Like you have form fields here, right? So if I'm taking this, so instead of a text, like you could just simply put this in the source code and uh, we could have a working, you know, state management. I think uh, uh, I see myself using this more for like small individual tricky bits. For example, if I had to absolutely, you know, export the shape that was already available as SVG, uh, I could also like export this much and have uh, like export always. It's uh, something would have appeared in the light folder again and now xc colors dot dot this is a good thing like all the colors are in one place um, other than that I think that's it they've been teasing this feature for quite a while and they have released an early access and it's a job well done frankly because they have handled a lot of uh, stuff really well like what works it works well I uh, can see the code and almost tell that it will be a replica of what is in the design <coughs> some widgets are not very necessary at places and like using offset and stuff especially with the like responsive thing like you have a stack and uh, you're using offsets on full screens and offsets are um, also not in you know uh, a positioned widget would have been much better over here because or like uh, have some uh, media query going on and like have factors instead of number of pixels that could uh, make resil like make it a little bit more resilient to screen change mm, other than that i don't see any uh, thing that's too wrong so at the end of the day in terms of workflow the way i see people using it most of the time is to you know export styles export colors uh, create a material theme from an xd template uh, those are the things where we actually uh, struggle like let me just fire up figma and uh, show you one of the designs that we're supposed to make and the challenges that we face uh, day to day so just suppose we have to make this layout uh, this is a huge one um, first of all like design iterations it's uh, versioning in xd is really good uh, prototyping like this is what the uh, what real world designs actually look like uh, for us like we have these textiles over here uh, but we, we don't get uh, like if I could simply click and export to flutter instead of like you know looking at this and going out charubic okay bold and 36 and all so that would have been awesome if I could just uh, export all the colors and there would have been a color like you know app colors class where like all of it would have been available to me gradients and you know even the icons used the SVGs and all uh, also the way flutter handles icons like you need to have an icon font and uh, have a separate icon generator and stuff it's a bit a bit too much but uh, let's see control 2 also or control 1 uh, Control shift one two three. 
Let's refresh this. I hope I don't get chewed out for this. Um, so, for example, something like this. And if I were to zoom in, which is okay, not bad. So, if I were to zoom in to this page, oh, I guess it needs to fix some of its most issues. Anyway, so one, two, three, four, five. All of these are supposed to be buttons, and this is supposed to be a decorative image. Uh, this is supposed to be a button. These are supposed to be buttons. Um, something like this. Uh, if I get the offsets from the onset, uh, that would like help me a lot because uh, once I fix it inside a square, uh, the offsets are really going to be helpful. All we need is like one dimensional translation of all of these uh, and like we're set. Uh, similarly, like there are a few things that Ad this thing I see Adobe XD being really good at. And all of these custom shapes and SVGs like exporting them has been a pain uh, and uh, I see Adobe solving a lot of these pains in the very near future because they have got the basics down and like uh, they, are, uh, they have got the confidence to release it in uh, you know early stages and mm, that's it so this is uh, where I'll try to continue conclude my video uh, I, this has been an amazing like product like this has been an amazing experience uh, getting to see all this code being generated at the same time uh, neither the code is where we would start to use it nor is the Adobe XD design experience as a designer's experience where like I could like confidently restrict my designer to say you know you can't use Figma you have to use XD so where do we go from here the, like we have always been searching for solutions that allow us to move at lightning fast speeds because it's uh, business is all about how fast you can deploy your app and how fast you can keep iterating on it and focus more on the product and less on the nuances of the tools that you're using and I see Adobe and Flutter taking right steps in the right directions it is just a matter of time and patience and with patience we'll get there soon now you didn't see me build a flutter application because i don't have flutter installed on the windows side of my machine mm, and uh Bishujit, uh has uh, tested this layout out on his uh, phone and all so he has confirmed that all of the uh, layouts were copied properly and everything and even like this uh, layout was uh, like very well copied out on this uh, you see this flutter debug symbol this is a flutter app so uh, the only thing is uh, we are still missing responsiveness we are still missing state management queues and we are still missing uh, interactivity so uh, interactive elements buttons how to specify something as a button uh, responsiveness using uh, positioned instead of uh, offsets using flex instead of uh, hard coded uh, values and stuff and uh, finally you know state management like having some queues and like with getters and we could just pop it in a stateful widget like for me a stateless widget is just a render tree and adobe is doing an excellent job of taking a render tree from the designer and giving it us giving it to us with the highest amount of fidelity without us having to Dabba. so without us having to tune our ui a lot uh, adobe xc is uh, with the flutter plugin doing an amazing job of uh, 
giving us very high fidelity replication of uh, the UI, but uh, uh, still like the responsiveness, interactivity and state management cues. Those three things and I think we can like you know integrate this with our day to day workflow eventually. That's it for this video. Uh, if you have any questions, if you have any, uh, you know, and all of this was constructive feedback, what I feel is missing so that uh, it helps the teams uh, have better direction. That's it. Um, subscribe to the channel. We'll be doing this format a lot more than we have been. And... Uh, have a nice day.